Okay, Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Quick check in today. It's October 4th. Uploading these for the today, tomorrow, it's over the weekend. Let's see what's going on. October 4th, Libra. Sun, Moon, and Rising Universe. What does Libra need to know at this time? October. I don't know why I'm saying the date. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, something fell out. Okay, I'm getting some. It's weird. I'm either getting like people coming back in, people secretly liking people, or just bad behavior. Seven of Swords, um, Seven of Cups. Seven might be an important number, the seventh maybe. But um, Seven of Cups, you know, what the hell is this person thinking or doing? Seven of Swords, bad behavior. This person has revealed two swords, but they're carrying five. There's something you don't know. So this could be why you feel confused. So there's someone around you who is confusing you. may not be bad behavior. It could just be, again, you have part of the, um, part of the information, part of the answer, whatever you don't know it all. So let me put it all, let me put another card down. Lovers. Okay, so you may already be with this person. This person might be married to them. Justice is under there. But um, definitely a love relationship. Someone you're interested in. Someone that maybe they're dating someone else. Might be a Gemini. But what, one more card, please. Let's start. Maybe an Aquarius. Ten of Swords is under the deck. When it's under the deck, to me, it's not here now. It will be coming in later, Some usually. Also, if it comes out in the reading, I shuffle it back in to see. So it's almost like you're hoping, you don't know the full story with the Seven of Cups. You may be overwhelmed, maybe wondering what's going on with this person or relationship. You're hoping that they like you, the star, things work out. I don't feel like it's, this is a good sign right here. I don't. This person may have a wandering eye. They may be very flirtatious with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. They're always looking for the next best thing. Let me try to narrow down who this message is for, though. Okay. Because this is not for everyone. This is a message that fell out, so usually it's very specific. Okay, it is over. And, okay, to move away. So ten, eight, 10 of Cups is under the deck now, though. See, the change. So if you under, know that this is over and time to move away, uh, you will move to something better. So don't waste your time hoping for a relationship to work out when you know that this type of thing is happening. Seven of Swords. You're always having to wonder, what are they doing? That's a Seven of Cups to me. Where are they at? You know, you don't feel like you can trust them. You're hoping it'll work out. That's not good energy for any relationship that's something that to me feels like it's doomed to fail but it's not your fault it looks like the other person is out running around so let me okay libra let's focus in again libra all right queen of swords there you are five of swords all right death maybe a scorpio temperance and a three of cups okay under the deck for you is the sun Move it over just a tad. All right. Let's go back around and see what this is. Six of Wands. King of Cups. The Empress. Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Wands. I feel like, I always feel like this, though, with this card, like you guys may be calling someone out. You may be calling someone's bluff. You want to know the truth. You want to know what they're hiding. It may be a water sign, but it may be someone who, you know, when they come around, they try to act like they are romantic and loving, like they love you. I don't know if they're being honest, though. I don't know if there was some bad behavior with somebody else. I don't really, let me go back around one more time before I say anything. Two of coin, the sun, the king of swords again, ace of wands. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like someone's coming back around to make something right with you, but you are definitely calling them out. There was somebody else involved in the past. I'm trying to feel the queer. Some of you are already partnered or with someone when this happens, but um, what's the six of cups? Okay, this is kind of what I'm getting. I'm kind of getting someone is coming back kind of groveling. They know they screwed up. Um, 
Five of Swords. I feel like you're going to give them a hard time, Libra. You're not going to let them get away with anything. And, and you're happy. This feels good. Two of Coin. Ten of Wands. Yeah. I do feel like someone is feeling bad about the past and what they did. I don't feel like this is you. I do feel like you may feel a little bit of... Um, I keep using the word revenge. Isn't that, that's not really the word I want. But... um. I do feel like you're going to run into someone, talk to someone, see someone. They did do something wrong in the past regarding your relationship. You are calling them out. You're not going to take any shit. I do feel like some of them are sorry. They do feel like they, um, they, they, you were the one that they let go. You got away. But I kind of feel though in the end, this makes you happy to, that they are. Could also be that they're just unhappy. You may not run into them or see them. They may. Something may be told to you that they are having a tough time, that the, whoever they left you for it didn't work out. Um, you know that some of you, I'm getting different stories, different feelings. Because like some of you, you know that if you allow this person back into your life, Libra, they're just a pain in the ass. Ten of Wands are just too much trouble. So you know, you know, some of you just like, you know what, good to find out that you're not happy after you fucked me over. But I'm moving on, thank you. Um... It's kind of a harsh energy I'm feeling with your guys' reading. But it's it's still at the same time it's a good reading for you because you're going to be okay. It really doesn't it's not affecting you. You're going to move on. Some of you are partners, some of you are single. This is a, this is kind of like an energy. This is almost like an yeah, this is almost like an ex energy is what I'm feeling. Like when I do the ex readings, they come up kind of this energy of your ex is not doing well because they chose the wrong person, they left you. That's what I'm feeling through your reading. So that's what the universe is showing you guys for some reason. So because I kind of feel like, um, and this is just a random reading. So if this doesn't resonate, if you're like, I don't act this way, I'm not evil and mean. Libra, this is just a reading, general reading out there that sh is showing up. So the feelings I'm getting that you are the five of swords. Someone is trying to come back for some of you because they regret leaving you. You're trying to decide, would it be worth taking them back? No, probably not. Some of you are happy because I feel like this person may have gotten someone else pregnant while they were with you, but they, I feel like they just did you dirty and they left. And now they're either having a really hard time and you're happy or they're coming back, but you don't want them back, so you're happy. Either way, take it or leave it this week or this reading. Very interesting energy. The sun is your energy just to know you're happy, even though it's next to this king of cups. Um, you're happy because this person, when they left you, was that energy. I know that's your energy, but that's not. King of swords can be very mean, and he's next to his empress. He thinks that this is the right person for him, not you, and so it's over death. Time has passed, and now they have this great idea for some of them that they're going to come back and apologize to you. You don't want them back, all right? You're like, thank you, I'm good now. Some of you are single, some of you are dating, some of you are partner. doesn't matter because I can see it, all the energy right there in that one, one thing. So you guys kind of get an X reading today. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a good week, you guys, and take care.